Hello, good morning. How's everybody weekend? Let me adjust this first. Yeah, I see better like that. I think a bit far, right? Let me try to put it in. Okay, good morning, good morning, everyone. So, everyone have a good sleep. How's your weekend? Every day I start my day with a fresh glass of candle water first. Ah, do you know how to take candle water? You should pour it like beer, you know. Don't let the, the hydrogen burst into bubble. So that you will have a lot of antioxidant. Can you see that? A lot of antioxidant, all those bubbles. Hi Marilyn, morning morning. Mm. So for those who have just come in, please help me share. Yeah, by the way, I want to share first also. Marilyn, how's your weekend? Hey, where are you now, Marilyn? Are you working or, or just helping your husband? I don't even meet you, I think, almost two years already, at least, right, Marilyn? Let me share first, ah. Huh? Okay, so, please take your friend in. Today, we're going to talk about, please stop improving on your weakness. You didn't hear wrong. I drink lemon water. <laughs> Okay, so let me share first. So how's your weekend, Marilyn? Where are you now? Last week we are in Mandarin, so today is in English. So uh, by the way, Marilyn, thank you so much for participating in uh, our charity event last week on my birthday. Uh, I really thank you, uh, uh, you guys a lot and I felt very touched that everyone even despite in this time of turmoil, so many people actually put in money and participate together to do the charity. So uh, thank you so much on behalf of the uh, Mini Autism Center. So um, I can only tell you one thing, you will be blessed many, many times in return. So thank you so much. Uh, let me share first. Huh? So for those who have just come in, good morning and help me share first and take your friend in. Help me. And for those who haven't liked our Kangen Sifu page, please help us like and follow us. So help us to push the Facebook algorithm. Okay, let me share this. Okay, then... How do I do for the group one? Let me try to see this. Okay, never mind. I already do this one. So, good morning for those who are just coming. Uh, our topic today will be about please, I'm not kidding, please stop improving on your weaknesses. I know this topic. Uh, might, some people won't be angry with it, but let me tell you, it's really, really, um, I can only tell you, you are wasting your time and you are wasting your effort for keep on improving on your weakness. You didn't hear me wrong and I'll talk more about it first. I want to prepare my brunch first because I have a, a, a lunch appointment at 1 p.m. so I'm going to have a light breakfast first just a brunch so I'm going to do avocado shake this morning everybody like avocado shake? because I'm doing keto so I have to take more good fat and I cannot take sugary drink so I move from um, dairy product to almond milk anybody drinking almond milk here? Anybody doing keto here? Okay, so let me just prepare first and 
for the time being, help me tag and share your friend. Then we will start to talk about this topic about please stop improving on your weaknesses. Please, really, I'm not kidding. Please stop improving on your weaknesses. By the way, uh, anybody in Mili here, uh, anybody want to buy this? Uh? You want to buy this? Look for us. Uh? We have a lot of this. Wait a second, uh, I give come get a spoon. Good morning, Roy. Welcome. Long time we didn't see Roy. I think yesterday morning black out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yesterday morning a lot of place black out. Luckily my home didn't black out. Roy, how long we didn't see each other? Ah? I think it's from 2019, right? Wow, time really flies, oh. The last time we meet each other is in that one. What is that area already, ah? The seafood agent we every every time do the, the training there, that course there, right? Is it there? So long we didn't meet each other already. So good morning for those who have just come in. Today our topic is about please stop improving on your weaknesses. I know a lot of people want to scold me already. Why I should stop improve on my weakness? Isn't it I should improve on my weakness? Why? Does Dennis ask us to stop improving on our weaknesses? Well, that's what I'm going to cover today. But before that, please help me tag some friend in. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. So let me prepare some of my brunch first. I'm going to use almond milk. Almond milk instead of normal dairy milk. Oops. Because I'm doing keto, so I'm taking the unsweetened almond milk. I'm not taking what do you call that dairy product. A lot of dairy product have a lot of sugar inside. So that's why I have to change to this one dairy uh, almond almond milk instead of dairy milk. Let me put back in the fridge first. Good morning for those who are just coming. What do you guys normally take for breakfast? Ah? For me, I love kolomi. But now I'm doing keto, so I have to change my lifestyle. Currently, I'm not taking any of this kolomi, but I have this one. I have konjak noodle to help me to replace my kolomi. Because currently I'm not taking kolomi. Anybody like to eat kolomi here also? Why do I feel a bit hot? Ah? Wow, I'm sweating. Oh. I feel a bit hot. Maybe I just opened the aircon. Green apple with boiled egg. Wow, now Marilyn, you're so healthy. Ah. I'm taking this because. I'm going to meet a friend for lunch at 1 p.m. So that's why uh, I'm taking this. If not, uh, I love my kolomi. But luckily, because I'm doing keto, I cannot eat no more kolomi. Uh. Luckily, I have this one. Konjac noodle to replace my everyday kolomi. For those who are in Miri and um, Cochin, you can go to our shop, Aboba. In Miri, is in Marina. And then in... Uh, coaching is in Seradise, you can go and buy it. So, okay, I already prepared this. So, thank you for coming in. And as I promised, let's talk. Let's talk about <clears throat> why does Dennis tell you to stop improving on your weaknesses? I know this is <clears throat> like very funny eh, if I tell you to stop improving on your weaknesses. Le Qing Lu Huo. <laughs> I think it's the aircon just open, uh, not yet <coughs> cold. Hi, Peter, morning. Wow, nice. Okay, so let's talk. Hey, by the way, intro something for you guys to buy. Uh. Keto waffle biscuit. Hey, very nice. Can buy from Taobao. It tastes like biscuit. It's 
tastes like sweet but it's actually not sugar and it's a good replacement for keto biscuit yeah you see look like biscuit waffle very nice and you eat this it won't kick you out of keto actually it's like this few days ago one of my business associate called me we are talking about our business and then he, he asked me he want to improve on some certain weaknesses that he would like to address but at the end after listening to uh, things that he want to address things that he say I actually tell him why not you don't improve on your weakness You almost want to call me, you know. I call you to talk about how to improve my weakness. You tell me, don't improve. Good morning, Anson. Actually, it's like this. May I ask you guys, any one of you ever heard of DISC? If you heard of it before, type DIC below in the comment. Or you take your friend that know a lot about DIC to come into the live today. We talk about this. Actually, yeah, some people know it. Actually, everybody is born with a certain like DNA. So everybody have a different set of skill that suit them, believe it or not. Yes, everything can be learned. I do agree on that. But the problem is, if you just focus on things that you are weak and then you didn't focus on your strength, believe me, you are wasting your time. For example, people who are high in C, we call them very compliant. Those people, they are very good at doing things like maybe software programming, share on my wall. Thank you so much, Anson. Maybe very good at doing audit, accounting, even maybe very good at planning SOP. But if you ask this person, you put it, uh, say you, you want them to improve on uh, asking them to do sales. I tell you, can it be learned? Yes, it can be learned. But believe it or not, you are wasting their time and your time because it does not suit them. Then they will be very unhappy. They, they also won't produce very, very good result. So the point is, actually, like I tell my business associate, actually, you should improve on your like uh, strength. Actually, the, 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 I tell him a story that happened a uh, few years ago. Uh, it's like this. I have one business associate who is quite young and he actually tried to make himself look older. He tried to talk like an older adult. He tried to dress like an older adult. He even grow mustache so that he look older because he tried to blend in. But he didn't see result. He was, he was getting a lot of like rejection because he, he tried to be someone or something that he is not. He tried to be someone that he is not. So if you dress older, if you try to talk older, if you grow mustache, even look older, but when you talk, inside is not really old. And do you think it works or it will backfire? Let me know below. Do you think it will work? W O R K work or backfire? Type down, type down below there. You let me know. Do you think it will work or actually backfire? Believe it or not, it backfire badly. Everybody has weakness, you know. So instead of trying to 
if, if you want to improve a bit on a certain weaknesses, nothing wrong with that. But in life, if you keep on focusing on like 100% of the energy and time on doing the, the improving on the weakness, believe me, you will lose out on improving your strength. You will lose out in improving your strength. So believe it or not, strength is much more important. Improving your strength is much more important in, than improving on your weaknesses. So I told, told uh, the story to my business associate uh, of another business associate a few years ago. After we asked him to leverage on yourself as a young adult instead of, of an older adult, let people know, hey, you are young, you want to uh, like you want to get into this business world. You want to uh, to have a better result on your business, and just let people know, hey, I'm young, uh, I want to uh, do this business, and then um, what is my value, and why am I doing this business? Then things start to change because he leveraged on his strength. His strength is he is young. He he have like uh, for example. If, if a person is younger, he have uh, he is more naive, he have less what do you call that, uh, uh, like experience. Instead of trying to act like he has experience, he is leveraging on himself as a naive young adult, whereby people start to respect that. So you see, he is getting result much much better than last time when he is trying to be like. Uh, try to pretend he is someone that he isn't is. So that's the point. Actually, everybody have different set of DNA, different set of skill. Nobody is perfect. If you keep on focusing on trying to improve what you don't like, your weakness, actually, really, you will lose out on the strength. You will lose out on the strength. So as I say, DISC actually there's four part of it. D is called dominant. Normally D people is the like uh, your company leader or your team leader or even a country leader, and even sometimes D is this uh, artist people who are very stubborn. This this is D lah. D is very dominant one. So D D are like they are very aggressive one. So I is people who are very influential. Any one of you ever meet a someone who like, uh, like me lah, I eat this very good. I didn't earn money from this, but I keep on telling you it's very good, go buy it. So believe it or not, some people is high in I who are very influential. And some people is C who are very compliant. This kind of people are very good in doing like, uh, auditing, even like what do you call that? Uh, software programming. They are very good on very detailed stuff. They are very compliant. But the thing is like this: people who are high in C, if you ask them to do like uh, maybe doing sales, or maybe if you ask them to do like uh, what do you call that? Uh, uh, like lead the team, maybe they cannot do it. Because that is not their strength. So putting your, your people at the right place is also very important. That's why, that's why I say, please, please stop improving on your weakness. Actually, you should focus improving on your strength. Because a lot of people nowadays, um, I think cost is very good. Trying to improve yourself is very good. Doing self-improvement. But believe it or not, you should actually understand yourself first. If you want to do this DISC test, it's free. It's free. You can go online. Uh, if, you, if you don't know how to get it, ask me. It's free. You can do the test. Then you will know what is your DNA, what is your strength. 
That's why I say stop improving on your weakness. Actually, you should improve on your on your strength. So, for those who want to get this TIC, come. Let me know. PM me. I'll send you the link. It's free. But if you want to take the test, please, please don't take the test with logic. Don't answer it with logic. I mean. You should answer it like what is your own pattern, what is your own style. You should answer it according to yourself. Good morning, Tan Sui. Hey, Tan Sui, why Samalaju Banjil? Ah? Can you share with me? Ah? I don't know why is it Banjil. I saw so many people post on the Banjil. What is happening? Ah? <clears throat> I think that Tan Sui, you should go and help them. Good morning, Kelvin. So, Kelvin is also from Mintulu. So Kelvin, why ah? Uh, why the Samalaju Banjil ah? Uh, what is happening there? I uh, can you someone shed some light on for me ah? Uh? I don't even know what is happening. I only saw a lot of people posting on Facebook the, the flood very uh quite big the flood. So as I was saying, everybody has different set of DNA set uh, skill set also. So what the will so samalaju a lot of money okay true also very good so later i flood your house ah. <laughs> so as i say everybody have different skill set so instead of keep on focusing on improving on your weakness i i also do that uh last time you know i also try to keep on improving uh like on my own weakness Actually, at the end, I found out I can't make everyone happy. Really, I can't make everyone happy. If you agree with that, put down below agree. Actually, nobody can make everybody happy. If it is like that, nobody ever will quarrel in this world. There will be no more clashes, no more war. It's impossible, I tell you. So, everybody only have a chance. Uh, one lifetime so why not you improve on your own strength instead of the weakness so if you improve on your strength then you will be very good at what you do but before you do that you should understand yourself first so as i say you can do disc test so that you can actually know oh which is your dna which is your strength Increase your weakness. You can improve a bit on the weakness, but focus more on the strength so that you can really leverage on yourself. Oh, drainage in Bintulu very poor. Hey, last time, I think your Kelvin, your mother house there also last time almost flood, right? In the front part, flood. Wow, that one very, very charm, huh? But anyhow, hope nobody is really hurt in this uh, flood, huh? Okay. Wow, why am I I'm, I'm, wow, so hot today? Oh. Keep on sweating. Never mind. So, I, I tell you all this because I want to share my experience with this. I found out that I myself also try to improve on something that I'm not. And I see a lot of friends beside me also is the same. We try to improve on something that we are not. Instead, we should focus more time, our energy, on our strength. Our strength is our biggest asset. So, if you are very good in, let's say you are high in I, so you are very good influencer, you should be in sales, you should be in like maybe doing live, something like that. Instead, if you if you are I, you go to, to do audit, to do account, believe me, you will suffer. You can learn it. You can slowly improve on the account. But believe it or not, you will not be happy. You will not be doing very good. Good morning, man. So, I really just want to let you all know, you should improve on your strength instead of keep on focusing on our weakness this is what i i have done in the in the uh, 
before also i also do this mistake so that's why i share this all today just to let you all know and by the way i really want to take this opportunity to thank all of you who participate in our last monday charity event i'm very touched i really um i see a lot of friends and a lot of stranger who actually contribute together to help this Miri Autism. So um, I'm very happy with the result and we managed to help them. Of course, we can't help them forever. We, uh, our, our limited help also can just help them to last that little longer. Yes, I, believe, I, I do agree on that. But still we have to do. Cannot because of this kind of excuse, we didn't do the charity right. So I want to thank you all for helping and I, I can only say that many, many blessings for you all. Many, many blessings, unlimited blessings for you all. So let's get back to our topic today. Basically, this topic is about being, understanding yourself. What is your skill set? What is your DNA? Basically, there's four types. D I S C. So a lot of people they didn't know what is their own skill set, and they keep on tell, listening to to the noise beside them. People telling that, hey, why you are so poor in this uh, this area? You you actually should improve on this. Believe it or not, don't. Please stop. You should improve on your strength. So if you if you don't do the test. You don't even know you are D, you are I, you are S, you are C. Some people just have one D very high, I, S, C very low. Some people is a combination of both. Like for example, I myself is an ID. Some people is IS, some people is CS, some people is DC. It's also a combination. Of course, as I say, it can be learned. So maybe your natural side, let's say is... Uh, SC. Then maybe when you are going to like a uh, work environment, your, your work environment need you to have D. So maybe you will switch to D in work environment. But even though how hard you do it, you won't actually like fully maximize your potential. You can't really maximize your potential. So that's why I say you should do the test first. It's free. I'm, I'm not, I, because I'm I, so I'm influencing you. I'm not, I'm not even earning money from this. I just want you all to know, you should know your own DISC first. Which part you belong. Good morning, Kenny. So, if you know where you belong, then you will know how to actually leverage on your own skill set. Then you will know which thing that you can do better because we all of us has unlimited time. The only fair thing in this world is everybody only has 24 hours. That is the most fair one. Good morning, Lily. Now I know Lily why you go to Mintulu ah? because Mintulu flood, so a lot of money. Ah. Water equal to wealth. Ah. Chui, ah. <laughs> so Lily, you, you don't come to Miri, you go to Mintulu, no wonder. But never mind. Next week, I go to Kuching, find you, you, you treat me it. Ah. <laughs> so, as I was saying, everybody should actually take some time to do this DISC test so that you will know which is your own skill set, which is your strength, which is your weakness. If not, we might be wasting a lot of time trying to improve ourselves because everybody beside us is telling us Hey, why you are not good at this? You should improve at this. Actually, no. Actually, you should improve on your strength. So for those who actually want to take this test, PM me. I'll send you the link. You can do the test. If you don't know, don't understand the result, you can talk to me. I'll try my best to teach you. This is what I want to share this morning. This is what we call DISC. So basically, 
these four DIC, some people have one, some people have two, some people have three, but most people have two. Very little people have three. Very little people have one. Most people is two. Meaning to say, there might be a combination of I and D. There might be a combination of S and C. So for, for those of you who never heard of DIC, you might be a bit blur on what I'm saying. Basically, DIC represent your skill set, your DNA, your strength. Let me share a story with you. Two years ago, we, uh, almost two years already, we started a F&B business and then all of, uh, all of four partners doesn't, doesn't have a high C. So we all want to do the SOP. All of us agree SOP very important. We must list out the SOP, everything, blah, blah, blah. And we keep on just saying, but never realize it. Never really do it. Yes, Marilyn have, have Mandarin one. So, you know, when uh, suddenly one of our partner is uh, sister are taking a dinner at my home. So I suddenly talk up to her about this DISC. Then she took the test. Lor. When she took the test, I found out that she is very high in C. So I say, hey, since you are very good in C, uh, I want to do this SOP, um, like listing out the SOP of uh, how the kitchen operate, everything. Lah, oh. So at the end, uh, when we asked her to do it, uh, she finished it in three weeks, whereby four partners cannot do it in almost two years because all the four partners doesn't have C. So they don't know they... they uh, they are trying to do something that they, they are weak on. No. For example, if your business uh, need a people, like if you need them to do sales, you need people is very high in IS. So if your, your sales people are very high in, like uh, maybe it's very high in just C. So it's very hard for them to do. DC still okay. IS is the best one. But if you just have like CS, if you ask them to CS people to do sales, it's very hard for them. CS people is very good in uh, doing back-end things. So it's really leveraging on your strength instead of your weakness. So, uh, Marilyn, later you PM me eh, because I scared I forgot to send you the link. Uh, maybe you have my number or not, you can directly message me also. So this is what I want to share this morning. It's all about DIC. I, I also uh, learned about this only two to three years ago and it helped me a lot. It helped me a lot and it also let me understand the people beside me. Sometimes uh, we get very angry or frustrated, right? Why? When, when we already, like your, your, maybe your colleague or your staff or, or business associate, why I tell them so many times, ah, they still cannot listen. Ah? Because it's not them. They, they have different skill set. We are giving them the wrong task. That's why they can't do it. So actually, we really need to know what, what is their, uh, their skill set. If not, you are wasting your time and their time and we are keep on doing trying to improve on the weakness which is actually not the most important it's important to improve on weakness but it's not the most important that's why i always ask is this important or is this urgent if important put aside urgent please do it immediately so is it urgent or is it important? It's different, you know. A lot of people focus on many important things, but they didn't focus the most urgent thing. So that's why this morning I urge you all to keep on doing what you are good at. Improve on what you are do, good at. In Mandarin, we say to ta. Improve on what you are very good at. Don't, don't try to keep on improving on what you are not very good at. If you try to do uh, like that, it's, it's 
Nothing wrong with that, but believe it or not, you will not get the result that you want and you might waste a lot of your time. No matter what you do in life, you, you really need to know. Let, let's say, for example, um, some people are very good in artistic. Then they, they uh, what do you call that? They can, uh, maybe they can draw, maybe they can be interior designer, maybe they are very good at hairstyling. But if you ask these people to do like uh, accounting, uh, if you like ask these people to do like uh, paperwork, do you think they can do or not? Can, but won't have good result, and they are not happy there. So really, uh, basically, the moral that we learn today is improve on your uh, your strength, not your weakness, and then uh, try to understand what is your own skill set first, which which thing that you are very good at. If you understand that, then you will have good result. So, by the way, this simple sharing today because I am in a uh, a bit of rush today. I need to go out later. So basically, I want you all to actually do the DISC test first. Then understand what is your strength and weakness. Every every DISC every um. This DNA skill set have their own strength and their own weakness. There's no right or wrong. But please stop improving on your weakness. Please stop pleasing other people. Improve on your own strength. You can't get everybody to like you. So if you improve on your strength, you will see good result. So if you haven't do the test, go to do the test. You don't know where to get the test, PM me. And then, uh, a bit of advertisement. This Saturday and Sunday, we are doing a Kangen Business Seminar for two days on Zoom, whereby we will have a lot of uh, speaker, but it's in Malay. So any one of you who want to know more on how to do, do business, how to get more uh, like income in this state of situation, PM me. I have ticket. PM me to get your ticket. And actually, we teach a lot of our team member, a lot of training, which is free for our team also, to help them grow together. This is what we are doing. But at the same time, I'm doing this live is also to force myself to have a bit of discipline and then improving myself also improving myself together with you all whereby we can keep on uh, march on keep on move forward keep on push forward so with this i i urge you all just do the disc test then you will know what is your strength what is your weakness and focus on improving your strength instead of the weakness this is what I want to share with you today and I hope all of you have a great Monday because this life is all about kids starting everyone on your Monday because after weekend we all get a bit sluggish we get a bit lazy but every Monday we come back here together take your friend come here together we charge together we charge together then we will have a key start for our new week because everything need to key start like it or not this today you eat tomorrow you have to eat it again today you take a shower tomorrow have to shower again everything need to be maintained so motivation is also the same that's why i'm doing this motivation for monday blue every monday 11 a.m at our facebook page kangen water sifu and take more your friend together come in we will do this together with you all so for for those that interested in getting the disc pm me and for those who want to know more about our business pm me also i have ticket with this i wish you all the best i'll see you all next week next monday bye